What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm doing my previews and predictions for the 2021 Chicago Pro being held this weekend. I'm going to go over the Open Pro Men's Bodybuilding, the 212, and break down who I think will win in the Men's Open Bodybuilding lineup between Rolly Winkler, Hunter Labrada, Mo Shaban, and plenty of other really, really good names. And this is a contest I am super, super excited about because really the top 10 is stacked. So let's get straight into it. We'll start with the Open Pro Men. I'm going to go from 10th right down to 1st and break down and show you guys some physique updates from these guys as well. So in 10th, I have Phil Klaha. Now, he's actually made some pretty good improvements the last couple of years working with Dave Plumbo, but he has pulled some really tough lineups as well. So this is a very, very tough lineup. I think he'll be top 10, but only just at this show, just because of the quality of guys above him. But if he does bring his all-time best, he can definitely push up there and maybe even contend possibly for top five placing. But like I said, this lineup is incredibly tough. So I've got Phil Klaha in 10th. In ninth, I have Justin Mackey. Now he's made some really big improvements going by his Instagram page. Now he made big improvements last year as well. Seems like he's going to keep making those steady improvements and just sort of work his way up the pro ranks. Now, he did place higher than ninth last year in a contest, but this lineup is a totally different beast to what he competed in last year. I believe it was in Tampa, I think. But I think that he'll come in here, make some really good improvements, you know, get noticed here at least, at least somewhat, and then hopefully he does a few more shows as well and sort of proves himself to be sort of one of those guys knocking on the door of top fives of these shows. In eighth place, now this might come as a bit of a shock, and I hope he takes it as no disrespect towards him because this lineup, like I said, is crazy, and he's a guy that could potentially win this show, and I'm putting him in eighth place, and that's Max Charles. Now, a video went up the other day on the Olympia TV YouTube channel, and it was basically Max Charles posing for Steve Weinberg, and now he did look a little bit flat, which sort of could be normal at this stage anyway, and he does sort of have a physique where he brings the crazy, crazy conditioning that sort of shocks people once he's on stage, and once he stands next to him, he sort of exposes them with that conditioning. So that could definitely be the case here and he could win me show and I could look totally silly. But in this lineup, the other guys, I'm sort of assuming they'll come in at their best or at least somewhat close to it. I've got him in eighth place, but I'm sure he'll actually place much higher because he does bring that conditioning and that will put him above other guys that sort of come in a little bit off as well. So Max Charles in eighth. In seventh place, I actually have a guy who I'm actually really big on as well, and that's Brett Wilkin. I think he's looking awesome. He trains out of Armburst Pro Gym up there in Denver, Colorado, which is the home of Phil Heath as well. And he's made some massive, massive improvements. I believe he's competed in the 212s before, but he's made huge gains to be able to come up to the Opens. And I think he's going to be competitive, honestly. Like, if this guy was in the first call-out, I would not be surprised whatsoever. We saw him stand next to Nick Walker back, I think, about four weeks ago now in a guest posing, and he didn't look out of place. Like, Nick Walker was obviously slightly more developed and a little bit bigger, but really, Brett Wilkin looked like he could step into a, the same call-out as Nick Walker, not beat him, but step in the same call-out and look really good. So I've got Brett Wilkin here in seventh place, but with the potential to place much higher than seventh as well. And then in sixth place, I have Hassan Mustafa, who's looking absolutely enormous. Like you see these pictures from the athletes check-in and he's huge and just shows how much muscle this dude has on his frame. Apparently, I've heard he's a lot heavier as well, but he sort of does look harder too. So it's going to be interesting once he gets, you know, his whole kit off and we see the hammies and the glutes and the areas that he has sort of issues with to see if they're sort of dialed in or a little bit harder than those past contests. So maybe he has fed up and it sort of sped his metabolism a little bit and he's going to come in fuller and harder. We can only hope to see that from Hassan Mustafa because he has sort of struggled to bring that fine, fine conditioning, not just this year, but in previous years as well. So whether it's just his body is just crazy stubborn or what it is, but hopefully he's able to bring it at this show in place higher than six and get some points and qualify for that 2021 Mr. Olympia. But because of the lineup is so tough, I have him in sixth place here. In fifth, I have a guy making his pro debut in Zach Merkel. Now, this dude has a very impressive physique. And people aren't talking about him too much because he's not really posting many physique updates or anything like that. We did see one a while out from a contest. I'll put it up on the screen now so you guys can see. But he actually beat Nick Walker uh, a few years ago, the year before Nick Walker actually won his pro card. So he's been a while to make his pro debut. He had a few little health issues as well, but he seems like he's in good health now. He has a great physique. The structure is crazy. Needs a little bit more back... Uh, Needs a little bit more back, but overall, I think that his structure will carry him a long way, and he has a ton of round, bubbly muscle as well. So Zach Merkel will have it in fifth in his first pro show. In fourth, I have Joe Mackey. Now, Joe Mackey's really surprised me with a lot of his updates. I knew he's working with, obviously, the big Rami Olympia prep crew with Dennis James doing his training and then Chad Nichols doing the diet and everything else. And 
it seems like it's really working. By the photos, he looks dramatically improved on last year. And last year, I looked at him and I was like, this is a dude that could actually do something, but he's not quite there yet. It seems like he's either there or he's very close to being there now. So we don't know until we actually see him stand next to other people, but I'm very, very impressed with his conditioning and the size he's put on and just the roundness that he's bringing to this contest, which sort of makes a lot of sense. Chad Nichols is used to working with big guys, obviously Ronnie Coleman, Dallas McCarver, just big Rami, obviously. Um, so he does have experience working with big guys and Joe Mack is definitely a big, strong dude as well. So Joe Mackey in fourth. In third, I have Mo Shaban. Now, this guy has really impressed me the last couple of contests, especially at Puerto Rico. He seemed like he came in more detail than he did at Cali. He came second at both contests. This is obviously a tougher lineup, so I have him down in third. But third place in this lineup would be very impressive. Would likely qualify him on points for that 2021 Mr. Olympia as well. So I hope he does place top three here, and hopefully he does challenge even any of the top two guys as well. And obviously, I've just got Hunter Labrada and Rolly Winkler left. And in second place, I have Hunter Labrada. Going into this show, I thought I was going to be picking him for the win. But obviously, we heard the news that Rolly Winkler was in the Chicago Pro. Obviously, Rolly Winkler has finished very high in the Olympia before. You know, he's a one of the stars and top-tier bodybuilders in the world right now. And he seems really, really hungry. But let's touch on Hunter Labrada. We're seeing the photos come out. He is shredded to the bone. He could catch Rolly off. Honestly, like if Rolly is slightly off, misses his mark, which Rolly has done a lot in the past as well. I think Hunter could definitely beat him and probably will beat him. Um, now, Hunter doesn't quite have the details and development through you know, the upper back and the chest, even though he is very, very lean. I think that's something that will probably come with age for Hunter. And just genetically, some people just don't have those sort of lines and certain body parts. But you're looking from the side here, his glutes are all the way in. And I've never seen this on Hunter, even in pre-contest pictures as well. So I think we're going to see the hardest Hunter Labrada of all time and probably the best Hunter Labrada of all time as well. But will it be enough to beat Rolly Winkler, who I have obviously in first place? Rolly, we've seen some updates in the last few days, and he looks like he's pretty lean. I mean, the side chest here, you can't see too much in terms of details and him looking really shredded, but it's probably like a front on light or a flash or something like that. Because in this tricep shot, he looks really, really hard and just he looks gaunt in the face and he seems really determined. And obviously after last year, missing that Olympia because he got COVID and got stuck in another country, had a lot of drama with that. And he was very confident about bringing his all-time best. He'll have a fire lit underneath him to you know come into this show, maybe even bring his all-time best, which would be super, super exciting then for the Olympia. And I think he'll win this show, qualify for that Olympia, but he's also doing the Arnold Classic as well. So I have Rolly Winkler winning the 2021 Chicago Pro in the Open. So let's move on to the 212s. For this one, I'm just going to do a top six as well because the top six are really quality names. And I'm going to start with sixth place and I'm putting Kevin Johnson there. Said he's bringing conditioning this year. He's got the structure. He's got a good amount of muscle, especially amount of upper body. So I have him in sixth place. In fifth, I have Kerif Badjo. Prepped by Dave Plumbo, made a real impression on me. I think it was last year of a year prior at the New York Pro. I think he placed third, but he's behind like Ahmed Askanani and then another really big name. I think Eduardo Correa as well. Looked very, very impressive and compared very well with those guys. He had a little bit of gyno at the time, so I think that did actually hold him back and maybe he would have even beaten one or both of these guys at that show. That's how good Kerif Badger actually is. So I'm putting him in fifth because I haven't seen too many updates from him. I've seen one obviously many weeks out, but I haven't seen any close ones, so I don't know exactly what he's bringing. And the other guys above him, I know are bringing something pretty damn impressive. So Kerif Badger, I have in fifth place here. In fourth, I have Jason Lowe. Now, this is a guy that could win the show. I think Kerif could actually win the show as well. But Jason Lowe, he's really surprised me through his prep. He looks so much better at the end of his prep compared to how he's looked sort of from the start and the midway th point through. Um, I always thought he sort of looked good and improved and thicker. But he sort of surprised me the last couple of days of these hotel shots here. He is very, very lean. You can see in his legs, his medialis and everything is absolutely peeled. I think he's actually posing better as well. We actually discussed this in a private message where he's sort of locking out his knees on a front double and it sort of looked maybe a little bit awkward, but he's still bringing out the details while having his knees just that slightly bit bent, which looks more comfortable as well. So I think Jason Lowe is bringing something special. He's got a very unique physique as well. His waist has come in super tiny. His arms are like huge balloons. So I can't wait to see how this all looks on stage. Next to guys, obviously, like Keon Pearson and John Jordan and those types of names as well. In third, I have Ahmed El Sadani. Now, I love this dude's shape. He's got a very small waist, uh, super, super underrated in the IP Pro League in the 212s. I think he'd do some serious damage, not just at this show, but even at an Olympia. That's how good I think Ahmed El Sadani actually is. Now, he doesn't get the super crazy deep lines and details through like his back and things like that, at least by the pre-contest photos. But he does have the very small waist. His you know, midsection is very, very hard as well. And overall, he just looks like he's in good shape and he's going to actually bring it here. Hopefully, he does. And I think that he'll sort of make a name for himself in this show because obviously there's a ton of attention on Chicago. 
And in second place, I have John Jewett. Now he is shredded. He said he's bringing in a physique that's going to be a couple of pounds heavier. I do have an interview going up with him shortly after this video goes up as well. So make sure you check that out. Two days out of the Chicago Pro. He said he's coming in a few pounds heavier, but he's not sacrificing the condition, which I think is definitely a smart thing for him to do. In the first place, hard not to predict him to win, Keon Pearson. Any of the updates we have seen have been super impressive, which I sort of didn't expect anything less. Uh, he's made such good gains year to year lately that it, you sort of almost expect the gains to be really impressive. Now, he did the Chicago Pro last year, won it. I think he's going to be better again. I think he's probably going to be better conditioned as well. He'll qualify for the 2021-212 Olympia if he does win this. If not, we might even get to see him again in one of these other shows, maybe Tampa Pro or something like that. But I think he does get the win here. But it won't be an easy win because obviously John Jewett, Ahmed El Sidani, Jason Lowe, Kerif Badger, all those guys I think could potentially win this 212 show. You know, if, you know, you don't know what might happen. Kevin Pearson comes in off somehow, he eats the wrong food or whatever. These sorts of things can happen. So I think it's going to be a very, very amazing top five, top six at this 2021 Chicago Pro. But let me know your predictions in the comments below. Let me know who you think will win the open class. You have Rolly Winkler, Hunter Labrada. Give me a top five. Two twelves. Let me know how you think that will play out. Can anyone actually beat Keon Pearson in there? Give me a top three or top five in that one as well. If you guys do want to watch the show as well, timgardnerproductions.com. I'll put the link in the description below. You can check that out. I think it's about $40 for a full pass for the weekend. I'll definitely be getting that one and I'll be reporting back on the show as well on this channel if you guys can't afford to pay for that pay-per-view as well. Well, so that's it for this video. If you guys like and appreciate this content, please give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, including all my coverage of the 2021 Chicago Pro. So that's it for me. For Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.